All right, I've gone ahead and added a color to my background so I didn't have black. Uh, you can change your color um, in the backgrounds tab. And you can also right click on backgrounds folder, create a background and create your own image and import it in there. Um, for now, if you want, just click color and that looks kind of cool. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use this black. Now, as you notice, there's since I'm doing this tutorial from scratch without even preparation, you notice that there is um, a transparency issue with our bricks. So I'll go ahead and change it to color black so you can see this. Now, there's going to be things I didn't anticipate, but we're going to go ahead and fix this. This is going to be good. So go ahead and click on your sprites, brick one, l double click, or you can right click properties and let's hit edit now what's cool about this program is it has a fairly robust editing program um, and I'm gonna l double left click image zero and it opens like a Microsoft paint or just a paint type program and I'm gonna go ahead and click the zoom button a couple times and you'll notice the animation that's transparent is green which any solid color you have back here will be transparent but because my graphic is touching the edge of this thing um, the border it's having trouble knowing what it, the transparency is so I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna go image crop and I'm giving give this a border of one which makes a border around our graphic then I'm gonna double left click again and go back in here and you'll notice that there in the border there's been this grayish line and I'm gonna go ahead and use the eyedropper and left click this green and then use the paint and then I'm gonna paint this color so now we have transparent green around the whole graphic um, if you don't want to do all this it is in the tutorial file downloaded already and you can just open it so let me click open and see what there we go it's fixed we did it looks a lot better now I imagine we're gonna have to do that for the brick animation as well so I'm gonna double left click that edit image crop put a border around it and I'm gonna double click this in now you'll notice it's an animation so you'd have to do it for each individual frame I'm going to zoom in here and it looks like it's alright. It looks like the animation when I created that border it stretched and luckily everything is alright otherwise we'd have to edit that individually. Whew. Thank goodness. Okay, center again. Make sure these things are centered. I added that border so it might be off a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And that's good now we that's good that we learned how to edit graphics cuz occasionally you buy graphics or you've downloaded graphics and they're not very good and now you know how to edit them <laughs>